Mishi Shah from Coding Mania. So I hope you all are enjoying my videos and in this critical situation I just thought I, I need to create one uh, application which can be very useful for us like mask detection. Mask, mask is very mandatory for us nowadays because it is protecting us from coronavirus. So I just thought we need uh, we should create a useful application and so let's start with the demo. Okay, now let's get started with the Python code. As I have used Python in backend, and now I have used the convolutional neural networks because this is the best way to get achieve a really good accuracy um, for training your machine because uh, through this we are training our machine with thousands of images and we are we are telling our machine th that these photos are with mask and these photos are not uh, without mask okay so basically what machine will do like machine will classify uh, both kind of data in two classes with mask and without mask and then it will understand uh, that who is wearing mask and who is not wearing mask like that so First, uh, there are three steps. First step is data pre-processing. Here we need to resize our images and all. So we will do that here, pre-processing of the data. Then uh, training our CNN. I will uh, show you the convolutional um, architecture of the training machine, how to training our models. Then we will start the coding of this particular part then uh, third one is mask detection it is nothing but um, face recognition and we are using our uh, model which is created here and we are using that um, that model is uh, recognizing here that whether <coughs> person is wearing mask or not so now let's get started with this data pre-processing. Here I have used uh, CV2. CV2 is nothing but open CV, uh, which you need to download it. So I'll mention it in my description box. Then this is OS. OS is used for uh, manipulation of the directories uh, and files which is stored in your computer. Then NumPy, as you all know, NumPy is... Um, uh, we are really need really interesting library for data science and this is working with metrics now why met uh, we are using this here because image is considered as a matrix in computer so for image manipulation we we are uh, converting we are reading image as a matrix and we are converting it uh, sorry we are manipulating it through numpy arrays so we are using numpy library keras is using for um, neural networks as you all know then here i have was set the path data set that data set is nothing but um, a folder a folder which folder name which is currently saved in my this directory current directory only so i'm not using any relative path or absolute path because it is st stored in my current directory only right so i can specify uh, the data set name okay now uh, we will start with uh, categories now os.listdir data path uh, what we are doing we are uh, we are creating a list uh, of directories which is stored in this data set folder so we'll see what is stored
in data set two types of folder are there with mask and without mask as you can see here all the images are with mask and here all the images are without mask okay now we are creating a list of directory it is nothing but a category right we are categorized into so we are categorizing into uh, two different uh, two different categories like with mask and without mask now labels equal to i for i in range of this because there are two types of categories so it is mandatory to um, store it is mandatory to use for loop here and it will be converted into the list okay because we have mentioned here a, a square bracket a square bracket means list in python now label dict here we are creating a dictionary which will have a categories and a labels like zero is for with mask and one for without mask like that so uh, then we are printing all this variables now here we are doing uh, image processing like image size we are setting zero and here we are creating two empty lists data and target now we have for loop for our first for loop what it is doing in categories like there is a there are two categories so we need to have one for loop and there are many photos like 500 uh, photos per category so we need to we need to uh, process it Uh, because we need to do it uh, resize right now uh, for that only we here this process is using for uh, retrieving each photos then what we are doing here here uh, we are just retrieving it and after retrieving it we are resizing it here first we are cre cre uh, first we are converting it to color to uh, gray scale image because for image recognition and everything and any image processing technique will should have a gray scale image only so uh, then after uh, converting it to gray scale we are resizing it through 100 by 100 and through this variable img size now what we are doing we are appending it this resized image to the data data app append is used for um, adding element to the list so we are appending that image to list then uh, in target what we are doing in target we are appending that library which will have the category index this one okay now in exception if any exception raised then it will raise an error here okay now um what here like what we are doing here is we are dividing uh, our numpy array by 255 then we are reshaping it because reshape is very necessary for uh, manipulation the matrix all the matrix should have a uh, same size and same shape for manipulation then target equal to np dot array target we are using this target over here target is having um, this label dictionary categories like right now um, new target equal to np util dot to categorical target so it is basically using uh, to divide in two classes here so we are storing it here in new target and we are saving our uh, data in data file and and target a new target in target file np dot save is nothing but uh, creating a file okay now we will jump on to the next step our next step is very important and for that i will show you one architecture so basically what we are doing in this step first this is our image we are converting it 
to 200 con convolutional 3 by 3 then we are converting converting into 100 convolutional in 3 by 3 then we are flatten it then uh, we will have dense 50 50 and then we will have dense 2 dense 2 means two types of class classes like with mask and without mask so this is all this is the architecture you understand this architecture then only you can understand the code what is happening in this particular file so here we are importing our keras model layers callbacks and um, model selection and matplotlib for um, for seeing the accuracy what is difference between uh, validation accuracy and accuracy then that's all we are importing the libraries then what we are doing we are doing uh, we are loading this data.npy and target.npy into data and target variables then we are storing sequential into the model then this is our first step as you can see here 200 con 2d 3 by 3 like likewise this is our first step model dot add con 2d 200 3 by 3 and input shape 1 gem okay now we are using here relu activation relu then model dot add max pooling 2d pool size 2 by 2 second one is same same code you need to copy here and you have to um, change 200 to 100 and this is not required now because already we have uh, we have shaved it shaved our data so now the third step is this one flatten so here flatten function is that so we are just adding that flatten function into our model then we are adding a dropout of 0 0.5 then dense layer model dot add we are adding dense 50 activation relu again we are using relu this is dense 50 then we are adding dense 2 activation softmax so our two classes are there dense 2 right now we are compiling it model dot compile loss category categorical uh, cross entropy then optimizer adam and matrix accuracy okay now train data test data train target test target equal to train test uh, split this is the function and we are passing in we are passing data target test size equal to 0 0.1 why i have uh, mentioned so many variables here because python has a uh, this functionality you can uh, you can uh, like function can uh, return many arguments and we can store it like this so this is main advantage of python here we are uh, taking test size equal to 0 0.1 and now checkpoint so basically this will create our epoches now checkpoint equal to model checkpoint model epoch 0 3d point model now it will this will be uh, this will be our file in that all the model uh, data will be stored okay now monitor equal to well loss verbose equal to zero and save best only it will save best like best model and if you don't want that you want to store uh, like save all the files which is the which this checkpoint is creating you can um, mention here false or you can remove this whatever you want to do then mode auto automatically it will generate so history now history equal to model dot fit we are fitting our model to 
train data, train target. What is train data? We are training our machine and we are using data as our images. So here we are mentioning train data, then train target, then epoch equal to 20 means 20 times your model will be created and like after each model accuracy will be increased. If you want more accuracy, you can uh, mention 30 also. It is your, it is depending on you. Callbacks equal to checkpoint. We are mentioning here this one. Then uh, validation split equal to 0 0.2. Like after uh, 0 0.2, we need to do validation, right? Now we are plotting the graph here. This is uh, optional. If you want to plot here a graph, you can. If you don't want, you can not. Uh, then uh, you can see other videos for that. Now, print model dot evaluate test data and test target. This uh, test data and test target we are passing here, and we are evaluating. We are printing it whole this model evaluation. So this file will print the model evaluation. I'll show you like this. Likewise, 20 times it will perform like this. Okay, and you can, uh, and you have to wait for it because this process is very time consuming. And yeah, I forgot that you need to run this program because this program will save data and target, which is here. This data.npy and target.npy. And that after running this only, we can load here because that program is saving data and target. Okay. Now this program will save. I will just stop it because I have already executed my program. And this program will save this type of models. Like we will have best models. Because we, we have uh, declared here, save the best model, save best only. So we will have best model only. And see, this, uh, this is our model which is, store, which is saving because of that processes which is happening there. Okay. Now uh, we will jump on to the last step that is mask detection that is very easy um, now we are importing again libraries of uh, keras then cv2 is required here because we are uh, using webcam the, because this is real time mask detection so we are using cv2 here and as we we are using cv2 it will it is necessary to use uh, NumPy because our images will be converted into the metrics again. So here I am using model 005. You can use any model in which you are getting the highest accuracy. It will vary from uh, computer to computer because and data to data as well. So we are loading here model. Then we are loading a cascade classifier classify uh, sorry cascade classifier here which is i have already mentioned the link of my github so you can uh, download my data set and this file from there and source equal to cv2.video capture it means uh, it will turn on our webcam right uh, now labels equal to dictionary so for zero we are um, storing mask for one we are storing um, no mask this is a dictionary 
then color library for zero uh, for zero with mask we need green color so we are using this color code we uh, for no mask we need red color so we are using this color code right now while true it will uh, re this read function will return two values first it will check whether image is there or not if, if image will be there then it will return true and img will be storing the image okay why we are um, writing here over here loop because a uh, video is a collection of frames and frames is the nothing but image so it is collection of images so we need to use for a while loop over here and this is infinite loop now gray equal to so we are converting our um, image to gray gray scale image as i told you before why then we are scaling it detect multi uh, through detect multi scale uh, here it is nothing but it is scaling uh, your face and it will store to the faces variable whatever face like n number of faces can be recognized it is not particular uh, limited to one number of face okay so now we are using uh, for loop over here and it will have x y w and h x y is my variable for distance and w h is width and height in faces it will store here whatever the variable will be there it will store here for temporary use now face img equal to gray y colon y plus w and x colon x plus w then re, we are resizing the image over here then normalizing it resize divide by uh, 255 then re, we are reshaping the matrix of normalized then we are storing the result of uh, model dot predict reshape because uh, our model is this model which is saved uh, in this particular program and it will detect whether uh, like what model is predicting whether it is uh, with mask or without mask we will uh, store that particular result into this result variable then label equal to np dot arg max result comma axis equal to 1 and now and 0 means first argument cv2 dot rectangle img we are passing our image here then x comma y we are just uh, creating a rectangle over here for that this parameters are useful okay then uh, again we are creating it then we are putting a text like um with mask or without mask for that we are passing our labels di di dictionary and for color we are passing our color dictionary here okay now cv2 dot i am show it will show the image in loop because it is a video so frequently like continuously it will show the images so it will look like a video but current uh, but in fact this is an image only but we are iterating in iterating it in loop so it will be look like a video then uh, for terminating this program we are using a uh, queue here because uh, we are using here infinite loop so something we need to do for term terminate the program so we are using key equal to cv2 dot wait key 1 means it will wait for uh, one key and that one key will be ord of q means whenever you will q you, you will press q till there it will wait it will show the video otherwise uh, if you press q it will be th this uh, loop will be break and your program will be terminate actually not this will be um, you, uh, this will be like we are stopping our uh, that window 
and source dot release we are releasing that source which we are using uh, this video capture so your uh, so your webcam will be closed now cv2 dot destroy all the windows like that window which is created now it will be destroyed and then your program will be terminate okay so i hope you enjoyed my video and i hope i will cre i'm creating exciting videos and you are liking it and okay we will meet next time with another exciting and creative video okay till then be safe bye please like share and subscribe my channel thank you